welcome to the Flycraft assembly video for your brand new Stealth X. First, lay out all the pieces in an open area. You can go ahead and pause the video here to see where the pieces go. Apply the included grease to all the connections both male and female. The more grease you use, the easier it will be to slide the pieces together. The provided amount is enough for the whole frame when applied evenly. Once all the connections are greased, you can go ahead and connect all the pieces together. Go slow with the larger pieces and make sure they are going in as evenly as possible. Wipe away any excess grease. When installing the left hand Z piece, make sure the side with the two weld points is facing the front of the boat. The side with the single weld point will face the rear of the boat. For the rear U-bar, lift the Z pieces and rest them on your legs so they are roughly the same width as the rear U-bar. Then attach the U-bar and rotate the pieces to help slide it in. The frame should now be fully connected. Installing the front lean bar. The angled portion of the posts should be on the top and pointing towards the front seat, not away from it. You will insert the knee brace into that side. Take the seat swivels and rotate them to expose the mounting slots. Install the mounting screws, but do not tighten them immediately. Get all four screws started before tightening them down. Do not use an electric drill for these screws, as it's possible to strip them. Insert the four bolts into the seat swivel. Mount seat to the frame and tighten. If you are going to be removing the seats often, you can install the included quick release plates before installing the seat. The rear seat is adjustable so find where it is most comfortable and then tighten the four bolts. When installing the oar arms, set it on an angle and slowly rock it into place. The angles or points should be facing towards the front of the craft. Install the bolts and tighten. Give the anchor rope a tug to ensure it hasn't been pinched by the bolts. Drop the oar locks into place and secure it with the lock ring. Before putting any frame bolts in, give the anchor rope some slack. This allows it to lay on the bottom of the tubes below the bolts. If the rope ends up above some bolts and below others, it will not slide through the frame smoothly. Go through the rest of the frame and install the connection hardware with the nuts on the inside of the frame. There should be 16 total. All right, your frame is built and we can move on to the inflatable. Unroll the inflatable. 
The valves have two positions, one-way and two-way. In the one-way position, air goes in but won't come out. In the two-way position, air flows freely in and out. Inflate the boat with the valve in the one-way position. In the one-way position, the valve will poke out further. In the two-way position, it will be depressed. To make small adjustments to air pressure, you don't have to open the valve. You can just press the valve down to let some air out. Inflate the sides to 0.3 bar. Install the floor in the base of the craft. When inflating the floor, make sure the front inside D-ring is not trapped between the floor and the tubes. You will need the D-ring to be free for the front frame strap. Inflate the floor to 0.5 bar. To pressure test the craft, the side tubes should depress about a quarter inch when pressed. For the floor, it should be completely solid. Once the craft is inflated, Lay your frame on top. Secure the frame to the inflatable with the nine cam straps. One short strap up front, six medium straps in the middle, and two long straps on the rear. At the rear of the craft, we will install the gear rack. Lay the rack over the frame. Install the two smaller cam straps up front. The two long straps will hold the rack down in the rear. Attach using the D-ring on the rear of the craft. Now we will install the optional third seat. Place the quick release plate on the gear rack with the release lever facing the side. Install with four bolts. Slide seat into the quick release plate. When installing the rear lean bar, we suggest removing the rower's seat for better access. Align the lower bar mounts and install the four bolts. Place the upright bars with the angled section towards the top and pointing towards the rear of the craft. Before tightening the lower bars, install the lean bar. Install the four bolts to secure upright bars as well as the lean bar. Here are all the pieces for installing the rod holder. First, construct the reel box by placing the dividers in, securing with screws and nuts. Loosely install the frame clamps on the underside of the reel box. The slotted side of the mounts should be mounted to the reel box. Place frame mount on the frame to get a proper separation. It should be snug but not forced. Tighten frame mount bolts to the reel box. Now remove the bolts immediately behind the front seat on the left side of the craft. Align frame mount clamps and install the bolts. Install the forward through bolt.
for the rod sleeves, remove the single bolt immediately behind the rower's seat. Install the forward rod sleeve plate. Moving to the rear of the craft, install the rear rod sleeve plate with the notch facing inboard as shown. Secure with bolts. Before installing the rod sleeves, slide the middle sleeve plate onto the sleeves. Then slide the three rod sleeves into the rear sleeve plate. The beveled end of the sleeve will face forward. Now bring the middle plate forward to clamp the sleeves in place with the forward plate. Secure with screws and nuts. Last step is to install the reel bungee. To install the anchor pulley, slot the pulley over the rear anchor rope and secure with the quick link. 